Hello and welcome to another Controlsoft video tutorial. In this video, we will discuss how to add facility codes, also known as site codes in Identity Access. Let's start with a little information on what facility codes are. During the very early days of access control, a 26-bit card format was widely adopted, which allowed a maximum number of 65,535 cards. This obviously ran out quite quickly as companies adopted this new technology and some card numbers clashed with others as the 26-bit format wasn't tracked. The facility codes were introduced to increase the quantity of available card numbers within the 26-bit format's number range by allowing for 255 different versions of each 26-bit card number to try to prevent card number clashes, but this was inevitable over time with such a low number of available options. Since those early days, the 26-bit format has now been widely replaced by tracked and secure formats such as Controlsoft's C92325B format, which features thousands of available site codes and millions of available card number ranges. HID also offer a tracked format, which they refer to as Corporate 1000. If you are interested in setting up a secure tracked format, please contact sales at controlsoft.com to discuss further. So now let's talk about how to set up facility codes within Identity Access. We already have the Identity Access software installed, but if you need a guide on how this is done, you can find it in the description box below this video. It is important to note that by default, out the box the iNet door controller is already configured to accept facility codes, and setting up a new facility code is very easy using Identity Access. Firstly, you will need to open the IA configuration application. This can also be found in the Start menu under Controlsoft. Once the application is running, you need to log in with your admin credentials. Then navigate over to the Card and Readers tab. Tick the option to use Facility Codes and then click the Add button. For the description of the new facility code, this can either be entered as a facility code number itself, or, if you have multiple facility codes, you may wish to put a named reference, for example, Office 1 and Office 2. Type the facility code number into the code box, and then click Accept. You can now close the IA configuration by clicking Accept. Let's now move over to Identity Access. We can now navigate over to Management and Employees, but note that a facility code can also be applied to a visitor or contractor. We can add an employee, and from the Employee Properties screen, once we've added the token number, we then have the ability to specify which facility code we want to assign this employee. Now test a reader with the employee's card. We can see the facility code is displayed in the Access Log Viewer and access is allowed. If you have any difficulties with any of the steps mentioned, please email support at controlsoft.com. Thank you for watching.